It's Cowboys versus Gareth Potts. It's the same as yesterday. The final match of the group is box office versus the Golden Boy, but very much unlike the match yesterday, this one has everything on it. It was a dead rubber yesterday. Winner was irrelevant. They'd already qualified through to the group today. But winner is everything in this match now. Winner joins Ronan McCarthy in the final. What a lag. <laughs> I think it's Gareth just, but even the lags are performing at this stage of the tournament. Yeah, amazing that it's come down to this uh, straight knockout, but Gareth gets the draw essentially. So the maths have simplified with that previous result. I mean, you'd hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. But yeah, they've, they've been here before. Last time there was nothing on it. This time there's everything on it. Okay, so to catch you up, just in case you've missed it, Ronan McCarthy is in the final. He's beaten Carl Boys, and he's beaten Sean Storey. Gareth Potts, with a win or a draw, qualifies. Carl Boys, with a win, qualifies. It's dry. It's dry, but it's horrible. Yeah, wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? The first frame comes out like this. Going to be a touchy opening frame here. So much so, Carl wants nothing to do with it. And Scott just saying it is touching ball. So no real bother for Gaz to get Carl back where he is now. I've actually seen a fair bit of this today, actually. We don't see this very often, and we've seen a decent amount of it. There's just a couple of little touchy shots back and forth. This is, this might go on for a little while as well. Scott Price right on top of things and he calls a foul. I'm gonna say it's a difficult one to play this tactical battle. It's also a difficult one to referee as well. Luckily we've got two of the best in the business with us today in Scott Price and Trish Murphy. Yeah, they do a great job out there. Hard work for both of them, but we barely notice them most of the time, so. That always tells us the job they are doing. So cue ball would hand anyone on the table here for Gareth following that foul. It doesn't help him immensely. He still has to find an angle to try and develop. It looks like he wants yellows. But the chances of these two yellows coming out, I mean, he's going to have to hammer this. Yeah, the chances of those two yellows coming out just felt slim. And he didn't catch the yellow. I mean, he tried to hit it so hard that the cue ball threw even wider before the spin took, and then he catches the red, not the yellows. He was trying to catch the yellows clean. So in a strange way, I actually think reds are probably marginally in front here on the tactical exchange. Maybe not with the red at the bottom of the table. not got that exactly where he wanted it, Carl, but it's not a bad effort. He might have left a plant through the gap. And there's one yellow that doesn't have a home at the top of the table. No, there's no gap. So, going to have to get out of it from, a, from there. And it's not the worst result for him.
It's not the worst result because of the red at the bottom of the table. The red's at the top are now wide open for Carl here, but the red at the bottom is a problem to solve it, and it's a tough one. There's no good ball to try and develop it with. Not really that easy to play you know, super short position or anything like that. It, it's a tough one. Take the one to the bottom right now. He's got an angle where I think he's just about straight enough to top through and try and play that short position. He was having a look there. He saw him pointing to Q. He's looking to see what sort of angle can he leave on that red. Doesn't have to get right behind it. Problem is if he leaves it high like he was looking, could easily flick the yellow and that brings the in off into play. So he is on it. Doesn't need to get particularly close to his next ball. He just needs to get sight of it. But that cue ball is going to get very close to the yellow. And therefore, the corner pocket. If he tries to raise the button, I've missed the yellow. Then also that brings in the corner pocket as well. This is a delicate shot. A very well executed shot. And now he has a chance to win the frame. Here we go. Really well worked out. Cracking visit to the table, this one from Carl. Real statement at the start of this match. Yeah, it certainly is. Carl Boys is here to play. Takes the lead. Takes the lead, and that's off the, the Gareth Potts break as well. Obviously tactical exchange he did give away the foul but it wasn't really giving away an opportunity to to Gareth at all break absolutely cracking break could make this 2-0 very quickly indeed Not a huge amount that can really go wrong here for, for Carl. These, these all connect up really simply.
a start for Carl Boys. What a start for Carl Boys. Two zip up in no time at all. And this match is all of a sudden very, very close. Yeah, kind of getting two frames in front, kind of because Gareth has the edge of having the draw. It just, it almost feels like that just swings it around. The fact that he's now two clear rather than one. Long way to go in the match, of course, but especially when you've got two guys that break and play at the level these guys play at as well. He's got the break of serve advantage as well. All of a sudden, Gareth needs a ball. Very close with that cue ball again. Is he going to get one? No. Oh, Carl, what a chance, mate. Yeah, this is some chance now for 3-0. This really is 3-0, remember, and it would be his break, which is huge, the way these guys normally break. These yellows are just really comfortable. One sort of not quite a saving grace, but the one eight in the hole that Gareth has is that he does have to draw. Yeah, but in about three and a half and four minutes' time, that might feel a long way away. It, it may well. Yeah. But a win will feel even further well, away. Well, that's true, yeah. But this is exactly what Cowboys wanted. controlled there lots of side to spin it up the table rather than playing the stun shot just to widen that angle to get on this one into the middle with control perfect angle just to be right behind the plant just has to guard against hitting the yellow thin and having the yellow sit behind that red or ping away but being right behind it it's hard to see that happening Sure, that's exactly how he played it, but he'll certainly take it. He may well have played for it into the middle pocket like that, but put the cue ball in a good area. Good things happen. 3 0. Cowboys has flown out of the blocks here. to say he has performed very very well since his return to eight ball in the summer serious serious contender yeah really looking forward to seeing obviously how he gets on the rest of the day but also going forward with his ultimate pool career because he's hit the ground running One of them had to go. Yeah, there was enough balls going towards that corner. And have a look at this layout again. Oh, what a chance. You see Gareth sort of look up when the balls are flying around to see. And then as soon as he sees layouts, it sort of goes back, goes back out for a... He'll be sitting there thinking it's 4-0. 
I wouldn't think he would say. I'm surprised only one's gone in. That top left corner pocket got absolutely peppered. So what's he got here? The only thing I'd say here for the clearance for Carl is the yellow to the right of the red at the top there doesn't go past the other yellow, I believe. So he needs to clear the other one first and obviously doesn't go to the top left. So that, that is a smidge of mileage there, but not a huge amount, if we're honest. careful if he leaves the one at the bottom of the table which he may well do now as last ball no he's going down for it now that means he needs to be careful on his last pot to the top right getting onto the eight ball it's not a brilliant last ball for the eight ball it's not terrible either if you leave angle on it Well, well, well. For 4 nil. Gareth Potts in trouble. And he's not really touched the table in this match. Not he, properly. He took on, he won the tactical battle in that opening frame and then took on a very high tariff shot that put him second favourite in the frame. And once Kyle snooked him and Gareth got out of it, but it gave Carl the opportunity to make a clearance, and it was a very, very good one. Three frames that have followed have been great chances for Carl off the break, and he's taken all three. You reach, we're reaching a point in this match and this group now where Gareth doesn't make a ball here. He could be toast. It could be done, as in he may not play another shot. That's, that's where we've got to, the way Carl's playing. Oh, he's throwing everything at it. It's going to be dry again. Oh, wow. Wow. That could be his last shot in the Players' Championship. Incredible. Just amazing. Trickier layout than the previous three. It's still tricky. Yeah, that's not opened anything up. It might have. I think the red might go top right, but I mean, it's difficult to land on. Yeah, he's on through one through the gap to the bottom right now, and yeah, well, he can come back and go into it again if he wanted to, or he could check it up, play for the other middle, and then go for the top right, as you say. Well, red on the break line as well doesn't go to either top pockets there's still mileage in a couple of areas on this table oh that's a mistake hit that gap again jeez Carboys blinks for the first time in the match at 4-0 up and Gareth Potts has an opportunity almost feel like it goes without saying he has to make the clearance here has to win this frame halfway through the match now. A cube one hand means he can land perfectly on his awkward ball. The rest all sort of go now. This is an enormous opportunity and it just has to go. Just have to start asking questions at this stage. Carboy still has the next break and he's still breaking enormously. So it's still a long way back for Gareth Potts, but he's got to start climbing the hill somewhere. He 
If he leaves the two at the top of the table for the last two, he's still got to get on that eight ball because the eight ball I don't think goes... Well, maybe it does. I'm just looking at the overhead that we have in the commentary box. I think it does go bottom left, so it's fine. But looks like he might just bump into the red by it now anyway. He might not. He might just drop it in and avoid that. Depends how he sees it. Right now goes to the right middle. Right now goes to the left middle. And bottom right. Really love the way Garrison picked this. Very nicely done indeed. Four one, Gareth Potts in the game. There is still a long way back. Yeah, he still needs a lot of help here as well because the Cowboys break is on. Cowboys will be breaking next. And essentially for Gareth to get back to four, he needs to break that serve twice. 13 minutes left. So you do feel that's one bit of help he's needed. I feel like he's going to need a couple more yet. Still feels like Carl's to lose. All eyes on this break. It's a big one. He didn't well. hit them very well. And it <laughs> races into that top corner pocket. I think he hit them okay. I, I think he hit them in the wrong angle. Because he's, I mean, look at the split. They've exploded. Well, I think he got it very close. The cue ball very close to the left center. And it got kicked out from the left center and ended up going top left. But look at this for a layout. The uh, yellow to right centre being the trickiest ball. But this he'll match is not done yet. Yeah, he'll probably leave that last ball and just play it off the red. And and he's on the eight ball to the bottom left corner. So it's not really a problem ball. Problem ball, he's missed it. Oh. Straight away, you could see it. Wow. That's a big miss. It's similar to one he had earlier. We should try to cheat that pocket a little bit. Yeah. Just trying to be too perfect. Yeah, he did have one like that earlier, didn't he? It was very similar. Didn't need to. That could be that, really. Oh, that's a huge miss in the context of this tournament. Red by the left centre pocket is Gareth's hope here. But it's, it's more than just the miss. That was such a good chance for Gareth that he was probably already mentally kind of chalking it up not that he would do that but you, you sort of get my sense that it's also the clock element of it as well that's you know let, let's say for for argument's sake that Carl doesn't run out here and Carl, Gareth gets back to the table it's it's two minutes wasted that's a big if at the moment though the way that Carl's playing he might play this one off the red just to pop that one open yeah he does. very nice and Carl Boys has got an enormous opportunity here now Well, well, well. For 5-1 and one foot in the final. Job done. Right. 
Yeah, that was such a huge miss from Gareth. It really was. That was an opportunity to get back to 4-2 and his break. He could have really felt like he could get it up close and maybe start to ramp the pressure on. But now it's just completely swung it again. And if you got to win four frames in 10 minutes or so. Well, this is the miss again. And you can just see he's just trying to be a little bit too cute. Trying to sit on that yellow. Yeah, what he's thinking, if he makes centre pocket, he probably puts the cue ball right on the cushion. If he tries, and he didn't quite have enough angle to sort of punch it on and off the cushion or, or top it on and off the cushion, he might have ended up a little bit low. So he was just trying to pinch the pocket and, and over-pinched it. But he was the strange thing was he was walking around the table. He'd, he'd, he'd thought he'd made it the minute he hit it, but it actually missed by quite a distance. So four frames required in what we're looking at, just over 10 minutes. We're going to be that 15 seconds time, of shot. It, it, time's not his problem. His problem is keeping Carboys off the table. It will be some turnaround from here. It will be some turnaround in here because of the mistake he's just made as well. That's the, that's the bit he has to deal with. That's going to be the thing going through his mind right now. That's the tough bit to deal with. First six, Carboys on the hill. Oh, how do you like that? He still can't make a ball off the break. Not made one in the match. Four straight dry for Gareth Potts. And you'd say he did all four great as well. That's maybe not. I mean, that would Kubel running a smidge loose on him because we know he's trying to get it down the middle of the table. But look at the power through the pack and, you know, the split and the balls flying everywhere. You know, still you expect to make a ball there. this point and we'll just start the thing it's just not meant to be it's not my day so there's a couple of well one tricky red really in the bottom half of the table Interesting to see what he tries to do with it. Could just drop this one in now and maybe take it long. I don't know if he's quite got the angle to force into it now. Maybe he fancies the delicate drop in the middle or take it long to the top right corner. Top right's the easier part by a distance. He has almost got the angle to screw into it going left centre. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, lovely pot, that one. Four balls away from the final. A little bit more angle than he wanted. He's just got to be careful, but there's more room for the top left than it looks from the overhead. I think if he catches the yellow, he'll be fine. He's just got to watch where he knocks the, the eight ball to. And make sure he doesn't knock it awkward. Well, he has made it awkward. It doesn't go right centre. Not sure if it goes bottom right corner. He's going to snooker himself, is he? You just about can see it, but... Not that it helps him much. No, I don't think he can see it. It was the overhead that made us think he can. Oh, well. Oh, Gareth, you see Gareth there reaching for his cue. He thought, better wait to see the, the Carl shot first, because this is makeable. Misses. Eight minutes, four frames needed. Carl Boys with the next break. Gareth Potts trying to make the unlikeliest of comebacks. He needs some Sean Story inspiration here. Probably screw into the bad ball now. Mm, could have done with just a half a roll more on that. That's actually made that more awkward than where it was. Um, if he takes it now, it's a massive shot. He probably... <laughs> oh, a little bit of panic there. He's trying to work out if the his best chance is to take it now or not.
think you have to, don't you? This is not, this is still not friendly. Under this pressure, this is not friendly at all. He may not get better on it, better on it than he was a couple of shots ago. Oh, wow. What an effort that was. Now he's going to have to just come across and accept it long, awkward. This is where you put the hours of practice in for these sorts of shots, under pressure. It's pulled wide. And that is that. Carl Boys for the final. Has done it. He defeats Gareth Potts and in doing so ensures passage through to the Players' Championship final where he will meet Ronan McCarthy.